Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So in today's video, we will going to discuss some frequently asked question on Salesforce admin. And in the last, I have asked one question and would like to know the answer or solution using Salesforce admin approach in comment section. So let me know. And so now, without wasting much more time, let's start with the today's video. So now the very first question is what is Salesforce and what is CRM? So now let's discuss this. As we all know, Salesforce is world's number one customer relationship management platform and it is a multi-solution platform that is designed to help business on just point and click. It helps in bringing companies and customers together, whether promoting a service, selling a product or organizing a community. It helps to keep track of all customers and client information interactions and also helps in engage more with current and past customers by sending targeted and personalized messages. Now the next is CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management and it is a software that store customer contact information like names, address, phone numbers as well as keep track of customer activities like website visit, how many times you visit the website, phone calls, their, their emails and many more. It describes an application that helps business to automate sales and marketing activity to increase the revenue. And now the next is, what is the difference between Salesforce.com and Salesforceforce.com? So the Salesforce.com is a CRM application developed based on software as a service. This is the actual software on cloud with all the standard applications which are for organization and for the end users. Now Force.com is a platform that helps developer and business users to build powerful enterprise application, allow us to customize the sales.com application, build new application using number of tools like objects, fields, process rules, etc. So this is a platform where we develop or perform our coding as per our client requirements. So now the next is how many different additions does Salesforce have and how often they update release annually. So the Salesforce have five different additions, developer, enterprise, essential, professional, unlimited. And Salesforce releases three updates a year that is a winter release, spring release and a summer release. And now next is what is object in Salesforce? So an object is like a database table that let users to store the relevant data relevant to the organization in Salesforce. So there are two types of Salesforce objects. One is standard and the customers. So the standard one are those which are provided by Salesforce.com and these are example account, contact, opportunity, leads, product, campaign, etc. Now the custom object are those which are created by us according to our requirement and based on our organization need. So it has all properties like standard object like fields, relationship, layouts, etc. Now the next question is how we can delete a user from Salesforce. So in this question, first thing is we cannot delete a user from Salesforce. It is not possible. But what we can do, we can deactivate a user by freezing that user. So there are some steps uh, and we have a button freeze button on user from click on which we can deactivate them. And now the next question is what are profiles in Salesforce? So if in simple words if I say what is profile, profile is something which decides what a user can do in a Salesforce. So a profile in Salesforce is a collection or a group of settings and permission that define what a user can do in Salesforce. A profile control, object permission, field permissions, user permissions, tab setting, app setting, apex class, visual force pages access and etc. So there are two types of profiles, standard profiles and custom profiles. Standard profiles are one which are by default provided by Salesforce and we cannot delete them. So they are read only, standard user, marketing user, contract manager, solution manager and system administrator. And each one of these standard ones includes a default set of permission for all the standard objects available on the platform. And now the custom profiles are the one which are created or defined by us and they can be deleted if there are no user assigned to a particular one. 
and now the next is this is an interesting question and try to explain this using a scenario that is a difference between page layout and record types so here if i take a common scenario that is i have an object and want to store branch i have object and want to store the student information based on their branches so there are two branches electronics and computer science so in this case what i will do i will create two record types one is for cs student and one one is for electronics student and on click of which two different page layouts will open based on their branches information so whenever we have a scenario when we need to fill information on a same object but want page layout properties to be different like required fields page section customization and which fields to be visible or not so all this for all in this scenarios what we will do we will create different record types and assign different page layouts to them so now as per definition page layout used to organize us UI pages for users which fields related list and custom links a user can see field properties visible read only and required and page section customizations so these are the things which we can perform on a page layout and record types are used to allow you associate different business process and subset of pick list values to different user based on their user profiles so using a record types we can also customize our pick list values it can be different for the different page layouts and it can be also different for the different users we can customize them as per our according to our users also so they are used to drive which page layouts user see when viewing records based on their profile so with record types we can now apply multiple page layouts per object and per user profile now the next is the difference between profiles and permission sets as we all know that a user can only have one profile assigned to them and multiple users can have same profile assigned to them example if i have two user and both the users have same profile abc let's name of the profile is abc and both the users have same profile now if uh, and i have a requirement that to share more information with one of the user but not with the other one so in this case what we will do if i will increase or enhance the permission on profile then both the users will have the same more access but my requirement is only to share more access with the one of the user so in this case what we will do we will create a permission set with extra permission and assign it to one of the user so in this case profile will be same but one of the user will have some extra permission with this permission set so profile is the baseline permission which we set for all the users and in the case if we want to enhance the permission then we use the permission sets and a user can only have single profile assigned to it but it can have one or more permission sets assigned to it and now the next is differentiate between profiles and roles in salesforce so profiles are there to control what a user can do in salesforce org so they are like a bunch of users that shares the same function example system admin sales support and etc and through roles we decide how users are related to each other in a hierarchy so roles are designed to increase the data visibility to open up the access to salesforce records so role is basically the level of access that we have in salesforce like example the topmost level is of ceo he can view all the records of all the roles and below it we have cco vp of sales so the topmost will have the more access to view the records than the below one and the users which are in the same hierarchy or in the same line will have the same access of to view the record now next is what is record owner so the record ownership it is the user or queue which controls and have the right to access a record so then generally there are two types of owners and they are user or a queue that is a record owner can be a queue or a user queue is a group of users which we define in our salesforce now the next is 
Now the next is what are organization wide defaults that is OWD in Salesforce. So OWD whenever we are talking about the record access then the OWD is the baseline where we set the restricted access for a record. So it uh, this setting allow us to specify that what all records can be accessed by which user. And I, as I said here we can set the most restricted restricted access for a record and using the sharing settings and role hierarchies we can increase the access for the records so there are four levels of access one is public read write and transfer this is only available for leads and cases now the next is public read and write all users can view here all the users can view edit and report on all the records and now the next is public read only all the users can view and report on the record now they don't, don't have the access to edit them now the next is private so only the record owner here only the record owner and the user above that role in a hierarchy can view and edit and report on those records so now the next question is in how many ways we can share a salesforce record so, so these are the different types through which we can share our salesforce record now here owd that is organization wide default is the baseline or the way to provide most restricted access to our salesforce records now as we go up that is using role hierarchy then we can increase or decrease the data visibility as per their role now then using sharing rules we can provide access to the user it can be based on criteria or it can be a user based now next come manual sharing and now then the apex sharing using apex sharing we can provide the access of records so now the next question is can we convert a lookup relationship into master detail relationship if yes then what are the points which we need to keep in mind or which we need to check while converting lookup to master detail so the answer is yes we can convert lookup relationship to a master detail relationship conversion can be done only if all the fields have valid lookup fields values only now the next is what are view all and modify all permissions in salesforce so these permission that is view all and modify all are assigned via profile or permission sets here view all will grant read access to all the objects and record that is ability to see all the data in salesforce and modify all will grant access to create read edit and delete all the object as well as full access to all the records that is ability to edit and delete all the records in salesforce now the next is if i have two objects and both are related to each other with master detail relationship now if i try to change or modify owd of child record will i be able to modify it or no so the answer is no in case of master detail relationship we cannot be able to change the owd settings of child records as they are controlled by the parent parent object so now the next is what do you understand by audit fields in salesforce so audit fields in salesforce are special fields that track information about our records they are created by id created date last modified by id last modified date now the next is what do you mean by sandbox in salesforce and what are the different types of sandbox we have so the sandbox are the test environment that salesforce provide as a safe space for testing and training or experimenting with different configuration new apps or significant changes to our setups so it enables us to create multiple copies of our production environment for testing training and development so in quick find if you search for sandbox from where you can create new sandbox number of sandbox so they are of developer type developer pro partial copy and full sandbox and each sandbox has its own specialty and now next is what do you understand by audit trial in salesforce so the audit trial help us to track the recent setup changes which was made by us or other administrators of our organization and this is especially useful in organization with multiple administrators so the setup audit trial history shows up 
up to the 20 most recent setup changes made to our organization and it lists the date and the time who made the changes and what was the change so to view the setup audit trial history we can go to setup security controls and then view setup audit trial so now the next scenario is let's suppose i have two objects and both are related to each other using master detail relationship now i want that each parent should have one child related to it and if a user try to create more than one record related to parent he or she would not be able to do so so how we can achieve this using a admin approach no development so let me know the approach in the comment section and let's see hope you guys enjoy the video and for any query do let me know in the comment section or you can also connect with me on linkedin an upcoming video might be a series on flow at salesforce flows and or on our salesforce integration so see you soon in the next video till then take care goodbye